Thousands of you already tried the two first previews of Visual Studio 2022. With its 64-bit architecture, hot reload capabilities, whole line completion, and so many more cool features. Now we just released the third preview. So let's take a look at what's inside. Visual Studio now supports multi-repo solutions. So when you open a solution that spans multiple repos, Visual Studio will recognize that and display it in the status bar. Clicking on it, you can see the active repo showing up in bold in the repo list. You'll then be able to commit across the active repos easily from the Git Changes window. Opening the Git Repository window will show the different repos and let you browse and manage them all from there. Preview 3 introduces a bunch of new features to breakpoints to make them easier to use. As the mouse hovers over the left breakpoint margin, you can see where you can set a breakpoint. There's also a new type of temporary breakpoint. Any type of breakpoint can be made temporary by checking this checkbox. Once a temporary breakpoint is hit in a debugging session, it is automatically removed. You can also right-click the breakpoint margin to set any type of breakpoint with fewer clicks. Last but not least, you can now also drag and drop breakpoints to move them around your code. Capturing traces and memory dumps are two popular ways to get a snapshot of the health of production applications while minimizing the impact to customers. Here's a memory dump from a running app that was completely unresponsive. Selecting the Process Responsiveness option is a great place to start analyzing my particular issue. So I'm going to run the analyzer, and from that I've got two results. And I'm starting with the error it has found for deadlocked threads. A deadlock is a scenario where two or more threads are frozen in execution because they are waiting for each other to finish. This analyzer has presented a list of threads in this deadlock scenario, and if I click the link, it takes me straight to the parallel stacks window. Here we see two of the threads waiting for each other. A typical deadlock scenario. Here we have two tests. Both assert which operating system they're running on. For a local test run, my Windows test is passing and the Linux is failing. With remote test execution in Visual Studio, I can select to connect to a Linux container running on my machine. The tests are rediscovered in that environment. And now when I run the tests, the Linux passes and the Windows tests fails. Debugging while connected to a Linux container is also available. The new project properties for SDK style projects supports theming, giving them a more consistent look with the rest of Visual Studio. Another highly requested feature is search. It filters the property list as you type and highlights the matches. You can also now see a preview of the evaluated values of the properties. Preview 3 has added support for JavaScript and TypeScript projects for frameworks such as Angular, React, or Vue.js. It even adds integration with ASP.NET Web APIs, making it super easy to build dynamic single-page applications. The build output of the JavaScript project is nothing but static HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, ready to publish to your web host. Even unit testing with your favorite JavaScript test framework is now available through Visual Studio's Test Explorer. As you can see, there's a lot of cool things in this third preview of Visual Studio 2022. So go ahead, download it, install it, play around with it, and tell us what you think. Enjoy.